Zion had 35 points, but it was LeBron's 34-point triple-double that carried them past the Pelicans on the road. Jalen, I feel like LeBron sends a message to Zion when they play together. Do you think that's fair to say? I believe that a couple of lazy things that have happened via multimedia and fans that I'm just going to refute and try not to feed into. Okay. First thing, LeBron brings it against everybody. If Giannis wasn't in the league, he'd be the unanimous MVP. They're the number one seed. He leads the entire NBA in assists, not just when they play against Luka, Trey Young, and Zion Williamson. He's averaging 25 points against everyone, okay? Anthony Davis wasn't present. Caruso wasn't present. And they just lost to Memphis the night before. So it was a game that they needed. That's first mm. and foremost. Second, mm -hmm. while these guys are – physical anomalies as it relates to their body type and their athleticism and their personalities and their maturity for being such young players. I think a comparison for Zion should be more about guys that play up front. Yeah. LeBron James is a guy that has perimeter skills. He's amongst the top of all time in assists as well. Their games are so vastly different. Yeah, because they're both 6'8", there are going to be times where they're standing in front of each other on a basketball court. I almost like a comparison of, of, of Zion to a guy like Anthony Davis. And I'm not talking about their skill and their body type. I mean, as a guy that went number one overall, Played one year in college at a big-time school. One went to Duke and played for Coach K, uh, Coach K. The other one went to Kentucky, played for Coach Cal. The trade doesn't happen if New Orleans doesn't get Zion in the deal. They trade each other. Anthony gets what he wants. He goes to Los Angeles. Zion now becomes the face of the franchise to AD's old squad. And the first couple of times they played, no Zion, AD dominated. Zion plays, then LeBron decides to dominate. So I like to parallel Zion to other guys. To me, it's so lazy to be like, oh, LeBron was the face of the franchise for 17 years of the league. By the way, not all 17, everybody. And now Zion is the face of the league. How can he be the face of the league when Giannis is about to be back-to-back -back MVP? This is Giannis leagues going forward, not Zion's just yet. But I love the young fella, and he's putting in work like we have never seen from a teenager. One thing that we've discussed for years is LeBron James and the relationships that he has with other players in the league. Back in your day, there was much more competitive. Guys weren't really friends with players on other teams. Now that has all changed. LeBron James addressed this after the game. Let's check in on LeBron and his do-rag. It's my obligation. It's my job to continue to pass on the game to the guys that's coming in after me. That's just my responsibility. Uh, no one told me to do that. I just feel like it's just my responsibility um, to leave the game in a better place than, than when I had it. And when you see the class of guys that's in our league right now, the league is in a, in a very good place. You know, anybody that says that, um, you know, LeBron, why would he do that while he's playing? It's a show and sign of weakness. You know, he's buddy buddy with the guys that he's going against. Um, tell me to kiss my with a smile, too. Jalen, what do you think? In today's sports landscape, one of the many things I love, love about LeBron James is that he's a, a boss of all bosses. I get a chance to see him be a husband and a dad, a philanthropist, a leader, a champion, somebody that is socially and politically conscious, and somebody that always seems to do and say the right thing. And I understand why, being the face of the franchise, he would take it some type of way because usually the best player dictates the mood of the league. And when I came into the league, the best player was Hakeem Olajuwon. He wasn't fraternizing with everybody. They were winning back-to-back -back championships. He didn't take it easy on Shaq and was like, oh, I'm about to teach him the game. He's like, I'm going to really teach him the game. And, and I'm going I'm to sweep him out of the playoffs. That's what I'm going to do. And also, when MJ returned, the exact same thing. Graduate Tim Duncan and Kobe and all of those great players. It didn't start to change when LeBron became the best player. Just think about LeBron's era. The other Hall of Famers in his era, 
Dwayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, Chris Paul. Those are his best friends. The, so the guys that the teams that he had to dismantle as they got old, the Pistons with Chauncey that won the championship in 2004, the Celtics with the big three, those teams got older and he dismantled them. The Bulls with Derrick Rose never got there as an MVP because they had injuries with Joe Kim Noah and it never matured with Butler. So he dismantled the older Celtics and the Pistons. One can say he disabled the other guys because instead of making them rivals, they became teammates. And that's what changed the league. This is what we celebrate LeBron for. We celebrate him for being the catalyst saying, okay, I can be the MVP, but I'm going to leave Cleveland because I want to go win championships and go to Miami. That laid the foundation for Kevin Durant to do it, for Anthony Davis to do it, for Paul George to do it, for Kawhi Leonard to do it. So, yes, you're going to be the face of best players changing teams and joining up, not necessarily playing against one another. And lastly, when I say he's a boss, yes, he's going to Virginia to watch Duke play because he's a fan of the college game, but let's not act like there isn't some business interest mm -hmm. directly or indirectly affiliated with LeBron James if he became becomes somebody that can recruit Zion, that can recruit Ja Morant. Like, these are the type of things that are happening within the game also. He and Clutch Sports didn't invent this. They're trying to master this. And I'm not mad at that either because Rich Paul is my brother and I got love for LeBron. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+. Plus.